Hi everyone, so we're continuing with the second lesson of the 2024 version of the data pack. Um, so we've got this question here, it says the ages of nine people at a children's birthday party are recorded. So we've got some summary stats there. So calculate the mean and the standard deviation. So x bar is the sum of x over n. So x bar is 92, ooh, it's going to go slow, over 9. So that's going to be 10.2. Uh, for the standard deviation, so looking at the summary stats, I've got to use the sum of x squared over n minus x bar squared. So it's like a delay in what I write to what comes up on the screen. Uh, so I've got 1428. I'm writing it, it's not appearing, over 9 minus, I'm going to do the exact version just to be on the safe side. So that gives me a sigma value. So a completed pack says it's 7.36. Mm -hmm. There we go, with my lagging screen. Hopefully everything will catch up once things are updating on the screen. So part B says, state with, the, well, uh, no, state with the reason whether this is an outlier. So this is my third season. Right. So, let's look at, um, so the completed package just looked at the greater than bit, because they know the answer. But you'd look at the less than as well if you didn't know. And we're in 10.2 plus 2 lots of 7.36. So if I've got a value greater than 24.92, I've got a potential outlier. So 30 is greater than 24.92 for a potential outlier. Remember, it might actually just be a legitimate um, piece of data, a uh, potential outlier. Or it might have been recorded wrong, or it might be rubbish. rubbish. As an example to that, um, I used to work as like a sailing instructor, and one of the guys who I worked with once was seven foot two. Whereas I'm a short ass, so you know, we're kind of opposite ends of the scale. Really. Right, so it says, what effect would removing this outlier have on your answer to A? So if you think about it, 30 is at the top end. So it's going to reduce your mean but also you think about the spread of data because first is at the top end that will make that will kind of reduce it down as well so it's going to reduce uh, the standard deviation there as well right next question then keep going so we've got some statistical diagrams now. There isn't that much on these anymore. There used to be loads of it on the old screen. So we know four box plots. That's your min. That's your lower quartile. And that's your median. Or Q2 in the calculator. Uh, that's your upper quartile, Q3. And that's your max. This over here, this, this little beauty is an outline. So we put outliers on as a cross out of the way. So we kind of ignore it from the data when we work it out, but then show it on the outside. Right, so we've got a question here about two telephone companies. Uh, so we want to compare briefly. So if you're going to think about the context of this, um, you've got to know kind of what it means. So this, this is like wait times. So like the smaller value is the better wait time. There was an exam question years ago about sprinters and lots of people kind of misinterpreted what the data was on about because this person changed their diet and their 5K time reduced. So like people are like, oh no, no, it's getting worse. It's like, no, it's not getting worse, it's getting better. So, you know, please be careful, be very, very careful what the data's on about. Right, so let's compare. So if we look, on average, Green Star 
has a lower waiting time, so we can say that. So on average, uh, green star has a lower uh, waiting time. As the mean is smaller. Let's have a look at the interquartile ranges. So the interquartile range is the length of the box. If you look also green star, their wait times are more consistent because it's got smaller um, interquartile range. So the waiting times So it says, by giving a reason for your choice, advise we are on which company to telephone if in order to catch the next train. So five minutes, let's look where five minutes is. Okay. So for five minutes, we don't really know that much, do we? Because we're right down the bottom end. So for five minutes, There's not enough information. No, I guess it doesn't really make a difference. Let's have a look at 25 minutes. So at 25 minutes, if you look, for the blue star, 75%, because it's at the upper quartile, 75% of their waiting times are below 25 minutes. Whereas if you look at the green star, it's much more because their 75% is around 78, what, probably 18, 19 minutes. So we've got to try and put that into say something like that, don't we? Really? Okay. So let's go with so 25 minutes, let's say that. So blue star has 75% of the times below 25 minutes. Well, green star has a lot more. Is there a quarter? Is it 18 minutes? You'd be daft not to go with green star, really, wouldn't you? Because uh, they're kind of on average faster and they're more consistent. Uh, we'll go with Green Star. There, there we go. So I'm on 8 minutes 55 now. So I think I'll stop the video and we'll do another bit.